Hello everyone, welcome back to the lecture series of basic electrical engineering. In this video, I am going to discuss one of the most important concepts that is pipe earthing or rod earthing. In the previous session, we discussed about the plate earthing. Now, this is another way of doing the earthing installation that is actually pipe or rod earthing. Let's get started. First of all, we will understand the definition of pipe or rod earthing. So, pipe earthing, it is a method of safety of sending excess or fall current into the earth using galvanized iron pipe. It is actually GI pipe. It is also known as GI pipe buried vertically in the ground. So, in the earlier case, in the case of plate earthing, we made a copper or galvanized plate. But in this case, we are using the galvanized iron rod or galvanized iron pipe, which is buried under the ground. The position will be just like a vertical uh, like a structure. Also, the peculiarity of this method is to send the excess or fall current to the ground. That is the peculiarity of the pipe earthing or rod earthing. Uh, let us uh, go the greater details. Let us elaborate in the greater details. As you can familiar, this is a basic structure of uh, the pipe earthing. The, we can see a cast iron cover uh, which is openable. We can uh, easily operate, we can close and open as our requirement. So we have a funnel here where you can pour more amount of salt as well as water. Uh, in the below that there is a certain layer like a, a alternate layer of charcoal that you can observe here. Okay, the main, uh, the speciality is actually we are using the road. Okay, uh, now it is another diagram. They have mentioned the diagram also, like uh, the distance between the top layer and the, uh, the particular place where the road is going to start. That is around 2.75 uh, uh, meter. Uh, below that you can see the alternate layer of charcoal and the salt to minimize the earth resistance, uh, like uh, as low as possible. Uh, the like uh, other like uh, uh, diameter of the hole you can observe that is 12 me 12 millimeter and the, the 38 mm GI pipe also you can observe. These are the basic uh, observation which you can make from the diagram. Any diagram you can follow in the examination I prefer in the diagram which is uh, belong to the left side. So this diagram is suitable for the exam point of view. Let me make it this diagram. I request you to go study this diagram for the exam point of view because it is very easy. Yeah, so a galvanized iron pipe of 38 uh, mm diameter. You can see this is my 38 mm diameter. You can see the 38 mm. You can see my mouse pointer 38 mm diameter. All right, uh, then 2 meters length. So the total length will be 2 meter. As you can observe, it is actually 2 meter length. Okay, so I mentioned this is 38 mm galvanized pipe and the length will be like a 2 meter, which is kept vertically. That is another important point. Yes, uh, then 12 mm hole. Uh, that is we are making the surface hole will be making 12 millimeter around the pipe alternate layer of salt and charcoal are filled 15 centimeter thick around the area 15 centimeter thick as you can see uh, the alternate layer of charcoal uh, that is actually maintaining 15 mm thickness here the thickness of this layer is 15 millimeter that point also make a note charcoal and salt to keep the soil conductive i mean the resistance of the soil should be as minimum as possible to send the fall current at the effective manner a funnel is used to pour the water to keep the earth moist to low resistance because as the moisture increases, earth resistance will be reduced. So through the funnel, you are keep on pouring the water so that earth resistance will be uh, moving on, moving down to lower range. Uh, similarly, uh, GI wire is the like which is having the sufficient thickness run through the 20 uh, 12.7 mm pipe buried 60 uh, centimeter underground from the 19 millimeter. Uh, like a uh, GI pipe. So that is a structure which I made a 12.7 uh, mm. Similarly, this wire is tightly connected to the top for the easily inspection. Why it is connected? Because we can easily inspect, we can easily maintain, we can uh, easily take out something. If something is wrong, we can easily operate. That's what we are going to do. It is a cost effective and easy uh, to install and it works well for the low and medium voltage application. For high voltage installation, you can go for plate earthing, where low voltage installation, you can go for pipe or road earthing. Commonly used for the res residential, commercial and the small industrial setup. If I want to go for high industrial setup, you, you can go for like a uh, uh, plate earthing. Right. This is for the low installation. The plus point of this method is stable earthing resistance to maintain the ma easily to maintain and inspect, then work efficiently in all weather conditions. That's a plus point. So the drawback, I can say it is suitable for only for low voltage installation. For high voltage installation, like uh, the pipe is actually not sufficient. That's the like remarkable notice I want to convince you. So in this video, I discussed about the what's the meaning of the pipe or rod thing. Pipe, pipe, either you can say pipe or rod, both are same only. Uh, also, I discussed the uh, like design design aspects like what is the length, uh, 
uh, then what about the dimension what about the thickness of the hole where you are going to open the like a funnel all the technical aspects i have discussed in brief fashion if you have any queries do let me know also i request you to like this video kindly share the video with the stakeholder those who are learning in this domain also i request you to give your like a very strong feedback either it may be positive or negative uh, i'll take it in a positive sense for the improvement also i request you to subscribe my channel for getting similar kind of video and keep on updating the stuff in electrical and electronics engineering so okay, stay tuned happy learning i wish you all the very best for your upcoming competitive examination as well as the university examination i wish you all the very best for uh, for the future endeavor thank you all happy learning have a great day thank